Hi, this is my module two reflection post. Um, I wanted to start with the first question. So it talked about, um, or it asked, how does the video illustrate the ecological systems theory in respect to students' education? Um, I think the video illustrates um, the ecological systems theory in respect to students' education because the students' microsystem um, is being affected by the lack of funding in schools because the school setting um, and their daily lives are part of their microsystem. Um, and if students are packed into a classroom, um, not getting the one-on-one -on -one attention they need, um, they can feel unsafe um, and neglected, and that really affects their microsystem. Um, if a teacher is also feeling upset and on edge um, during their class because of the lack of resources, um, and if they have too many students in their classroom, um, like one of the videos said that they had 40 plus kids in a class, um, there's no way that a teacher can feel like they can personally connect to all of those students, which can cause kind of an emotional um, discord because as a teacher you want to feel like you can connect to all your students and reach them. Um, so if they feel like that, then their microsystem will also be affected. Um, and then as a whole, the student and teacher's macro systems can be affected because um, if students have a negative feeling about education because of um, the circumstances that they're in with um, having the big class sizes, um, not having enough resources being packed on top of each other in classrooms, um, they can carry that with them their whole lives. Um, and if they don't do well on the subject because the teacher could literally not help them because they have 40 other kids um, to deal with their the students' growth mindset, if they feel like, oh, I didn't do well in this class, so I'm not going to do well the rest of my life, um, their growth mindset can really be affected, which will in turn affect their cognitive development in that subject, um, which can affect their whole lives. Um, and the teachers' macro systems are being affected too um, because the teachers are quitting the profession and that has a big impact on the field of education, which is really sad as a future educator and someone who wants to go into guidance counseling to see that so many teachers are so burnt out because school districts are not providing them the um, resources that they need and that's in turn affecting students and the students sh um, should never be affected by um, school districts not being able to provide the funding. Um, so the second question um, asked about um, if Piaget and Vygotsky would perceive, um, how, how Piaget and Vygotsky would perceive these teacher strikes and some of the state's current systems of public education and school funding, um, and what do you think they would see as the impacts that these have on learning? So Piaget said that um, a student is affected cognitively by their physical and social environment, and Vygotsky sort of agreed in his assumptions um, and said that adults convey um, to their students, so teachers convey to their students, the way in which their culture interprets and responds to the world. So um, students pick up on the fact that the teachers are striking because of the fact that they aren't getting paid enough and they aren't um, getting the resources they need for their classroom. Um, and they're really passionate about making sure that their students have what they need. Um, so I think that um, Piaget and Vygotsky would be supportive of the strikes because without the strikes, the students will not be able to learn in their environments. Um, and Piaget said that a student is affected cognitively by their social and physical environment. So if they're in a bad environment where there's 40 kids and there's no resources and the teacher is stressed out, um, that's going to affect them. Um, I think that Piaget and Vygotsky would caution educators to make sure that um, the strikes are not conveyed in a violent or negative way um, because according to Vygotsky, the students could assimilate that as part of the culture um, and that could really affect their worldview and um, kind of skew their mindset about the world. Um, but I also think that students can absolutely not learn in the environments that were being portrayed in those two videos that we watched. Um, so if teachers don't don't express their opinions, things aren't going to get any better. So I think Piaget and Vygotsky would definitely support them. Um, and I think that they would think that the strikes would have less of an effect on students' learning than the actual environments that the teachers are striking to improve. Um, so I think that um, student learning won't be impacted by the strikes in the long run, but it will be impacted if classroom sizes don't decrease or if teachers don't feel valued or 
um, any of the other negative um, things that are happening in the schools that they talked about in the videos don't get resolved um, or slowly start to get resolved. Um, so the second um, part of the reflection post was about um, language education programs. So the first question in that section was, um, it said the book discusses the different types of language education programs. Identify and define these. Um, so immersion and bilingual education were the two types of language education programs. Um, immersion is having students hear and speak exclusively in the second language that they're learning during the class period. Um, and bilingual education is when English language learning students receive intensive instruction in English while studying other academic subjects in their native language. Um, after watching the video, I think that if students don't have access to programs that are beneficial and crucial to language learning, um, it will negatively affect their education. Um, learning a second language has been proven to help in other areas such as reading and vocabulary. Um, and so not letting students have access um, to language learning programs is really unfair and really robs students of a chance to learn a second language, learn more about a culture that's outside of the United States and help um, improve reading and vocabulary. Um, so the last part of the reflection um, said related to B, which was the last question, um, what do you think the long-term impacts will be if ELLs cannot get early access to second language learning programs? So I think that um, having experience with classmates that were ELLs, um, they got the access to the second language learning really early. Um, and it didn't take away at all from their native language, their native culture, or anything, but it helped them to be able to succeed in our school district um, because my school district had a, like an English um, language as a second language teacher who helped them and fostered their growth in their own language, but also helped to improve, I mean, improve their language, their English learning in our classes so that they could communicate, build social um, relationships with their friends, relationships with their teachers and classmates and be able to understand what was going on in the classroom. So if they cannot get access to second language learning early, their micro and macro systems will be affected. Um, it's a crucial, there's a crucial developmental window where students can learn a second language faster and easier. And if you miss the window, it's not like impossible um, because of brain plasticity, um, but it's harder for them to learn a second language if you miss the very crucial developmental window where learning a second language is easier. Um, so a student's microsystem involves their school, home, and their relationships with their family, classmates, and teachers. Um, if they don't receive access to the second language learning programs, they'll struggle to communicate with their classmates and teachers, um, and it'll be harder for them to understand what's going on in school. Um, their macro system could also be affected because their development could be affected. Um, so their long-term development um, could affect their macro system. Um, if they aren't learning what's being taught in school because they can't understand it, um, we can't expect them to learn what we're teaching them and in turn that affects their learning process. Um, so I think it's really important that ELLs get access to second language learning programs um, because it affects their development in the classroom um, across the whole preschool through 12 um, level, grade level. Um, so that's, that's it. Thank you.